Hello, I'm Namidia Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough. And let's talk about another up and coming web series. We already did Has Been last year and Hell of a Boss earlier this year, so now we're doing yet another animation pet project Long Gone Gulch. Long Gone Gulch is a Western animated pilot that hit YouTube last year in 2020. It was apparently a Kickstarter and Indiegogo crowdfunded project, which just goes to show that this kind of thing could work compared to projects similar to this, like Spongebob Z or Gen Z, which didn't work because they simply just looked bad. And just let the fact that this took five years to make sink in. Similar to Has Been Hotel. This took five years to make, and this took five years to make, and it also took Aladdin and the Adventure of All Time five years to get made, but unlike that movie, this was made by people who actually knew how to animate. Aside from doing some artwork on their social media accounts, the two creators have been involved with the art department and animation, voice acting, and writing process of various shows. Tara Billinger previously worked on those new Mickey Mouse shorts that Disney's been putting out, and Zach Bellissimo worked on Rick and Morty and Victor and Valentino. Well, everybody saddle up because we're taking a look at the pilot for Long Gone Gulch. We begin with a team of criminal fish people led by a shark man called Mako, voiced by the new man of a thousand voices, Eric Bauza. As it seems that his boys stole a pot of gold from some leprechaun gold miners off screen. And they fuel their boss's ego by giving him a birthday cake. Also, just by his design and the fact that he is the big cowboy baddie of this video, anyone else getting striker vibes from this man? It's all broken up once they get into a tussle with our two main characters, the sheriffs of the titular Long Gone Gulch, Rawhide and Snags. And if you're familiar with your voice actors, see if you can recognize the people doing their voices. Mako, you and your boys are under arrest. Hey Rawhide, it's that guy from all the wanted posters. Uh, <laughs> Yes, Snag. Snags is voiced by Danny Cooksey, who some of you may remember as Bobby Budnick from Salute Your Shorts, which was such a good show back in the day. And Rawhide is voiced by E.G. Daly, a.k.a. the woman who voiced Tommy Pickles in Rugrats and Buttercup in The Powerpuff Girls. He's being such a meanie. Ooh, look at me. Cussing up a storm. Hey now, that doesn't sound like no Buttercup talk to me, missy. After taking out the baddies in their own goofy adolescent way, we get to know a little bit about these two. They're quite friendly with one another, despite having very different character traits. Snags is the bad boy from the city, who seems to have only taken the job so he can rough people up, and Rawhide being the energetic goober of the two, who wants to live up to her late father, who was the last sheriff of the town. And they can occasionally get on each other's nerves, with Rawhide wishing Snags would take the job a little more seriously. I feel like cussing every time I look at this! What? What, do you think you're better than me, huh? Just cause you've never been to juvie, huh? Snag! That kind of tussling is what got us in trouble, remember? As they drop off Mako and his goons, it seems they're both on thin ice with the town mayor. He says that he'll give them one last chance to prove themselves, while taking away Snag's switchblade comb and Rawhide's slingshot. But how can I share it without Ronette? The only weapons we need are here and here, in our sink buckets. Now let's use them. We got a steady stealth, strategy. Or we could just go to the... It's here where we see the very unique world of Long Gone Gulch. Aside from our two main human characters and the fish people and the rabbit people we saw earlier, we also see a bunch of other anthros, furries, bug people, sasquatch, sentient cactus men, ghosts, the sandworm from Beetlejuice, and even sentient tumbleweed creatures. You know, with all the weird, creative, and unique character designs we have going on here that border between cutesy and edgy, are you sure we're not in one of the levels of hell in the has-been hell of a boss canon? Because it seems like a lot of these characters could fit right in. I mean, hell, even Rawhide kind of looks like a humanized version of Millie from Hell of a Boss. Anywho, what you gotta know about this scene is that a saloon brawl breaks out when Rawhide fights with this Native American girl named B.W., who gets enjoyment out of messing with her and taking her badge. And things go from bad to worse once the mayor shows up, and, uh, this happens. I thought I told you Appleheads not to- The mayor says you're both fired. He's too angry to say it with words, but you can see it in his broken face. So after the two get incredibly upset with each other and go their separate ways, Rawhide sleeps next to her father's grave. And as Snags goes to try and get his comb back, he finds out that Mako and his goons have escaped prison and are now keeping the mayor in a cage. 
And as for the secretary... Where's Marigold and that Cornish hen? I'm with Mako now. He's offering cheaper health care. Right. As they force Snags to play the spoons while they beat the mayor like a piñata, it happens, BW gives Rawhide the confidence boost that she needs to go back, save the day, and get her badge. End of the line, Mako. You ain't nothing, girl. You're weak, just like the old man. That's why I killed him. <gasps> well, not really. But yeah, your daddy is dead. Uh, oh, okay, well then screw you too, dick. Okay, that's the best part of the whole pilot. I was laughing so hard I was crying the first time I saw that. So, yeah, props to them. Best part of the whole pilot. Oh, my, my eyes so dry! <laughs> so Mako is eaten by the sandworm, the mayor gives them back their sheriff positions, and it seems that things are going back to status quo. I, uh, I changed my mind. Too late. <laughs> So that was the pilot for Long Gone Gulch, and like a lot of other people, I really enjoyed it. The characters are all entertaining, the quick-paced humor is on point, it's visually creative and gorgeous to look at, and I, like many, am excited to see where this show goes from here. If I can throw in one nitpick, some of the mic quality is a little shaky on certain characters at certain points, but it wasn't that distracting. I've certainly heard worse audio before. Much like has been in Hell of a Boss before it, it seems like this pilot has gotten a large amount of praise. For a pilot that was made by a single animation team and wasn't put out by some pre-established company, it really did come across as something the creators genuinely wanted to create, and it's refreshing to see projects like this where they actually put all their blood, sweat, and tears into it, and it comes out as good as it did. I've said this before when I did the Has Been review, but I've been following web cartoons and animators for a very long time now, even all the way back to the old Newgrounds days. So the fact that we're living in a time where talented artists can come together and prove themselves, all the while on their own without any kind of studio intervention, makes me genuinely happy for them. Well, my hat goes off to the team that put this together, and I really hope to see a lot of great things in the future for Long Gone Gulch. Um, actually, I heard on Twitter that this pilot was extremely racist, so I just gotta say that- Get out of here! Next time, we're gonna be looking at another foreign bootleg animated movie, but until then, I'm the Media Wiz, because one art form wasn't enough. Uh, nobody messes with the dude!